The next few sets of measurements, including your full bust, are actually paired measurements that you can use with length measurements. So we're going to use a scrap of yarn to help us to make sure that we're consistent with how we measure. So for your full bust, before you actually take the measurement, use a piece of scrap yarn and tie it around your full bust. Now, before you tie it snugly, take a look at yourself all the way around and make sure once again that your scrap yarn is parallel to the floor. At that time, you can tie your scrap yarn however you like and again, situate it around that full bust. You're not actually gonna measure your scrap yarn, but having the scrap yarn tied around your full bust will allow you to take your full bust length measurement, which can really come in handy when you're looking at how to do waist shaping. So now that I've got my scrap yarn tied around my full bust, I'm going to measure my full bust or full chest length. As I mentioned, when we take length measurements, they're gonna come from the base of your back neck. So that same knob on the back of your neck that we used for back neck to cuff, we're gonna use for all these length measurements. So I'm gonna put the zero of my tape measure against the knob of my back neck, and I'm just gonna feel behind me where the tape measure meets my scrap yarn. And once I've got that in my hand, I can pull it out and read the number and record it. And that's my full bust or full chest length. Then, before my scrap yarn moves, I'm gonna follow the scrap yarn and I'm gonna take the full bust measurement. Just like upper bust, make sure you take a deep breath, relax your shoulders before you read that number and record it.